And I'm back. Uh, a little late this week. Uh, cause, just because I've been working so much. I worked six days in a row. And now I'm in the middle of three days off. And then, according to my next schedule, uh, I work one day, then I have two days off, then I work one day, and then I have another day off, and then I work two days. <laughs> so it, it, it's so crazy. But you know, I'll take it, because uh, I, I had to stay late a couple of days. Uh, this past week, because a couple people called in sick, or or uh, this other coworker had a family emergency. So oh, uh, I had to stay late for my my shift. Uh, so I, I'm now enjoying the time off. <laughs> but anyway. Enough about work. Uh, let's talk about um, another big responsibility of adulthood: um, uh, owning a home. <laughs> Which you know, I'm I'm not going to do for a while. <laughs> not with this job, but I am. Uh, looking around for other places to live, uh, to move out, so I'm not living at home with my parents, even though it is so close to work. I have been looking online uh, at uh, a one-bedroom apartments, and I found that I don't think I can really afford them. The cheapest I found is just under six hundred dollars a month, and some of those include utility utilities, and some of them don't. And and uh, I uh, and my. And my monthly paychecks are like, depending on how many hours I get, they're like between like 925 to 980 dollars a month, something like that. <clears throat> so if I get a place for 600 dollars a month. That's basically two thirds of my earnings just going to rent every month. And then I have to buy food and buy gas and other bills. So I, I don't think I can afford that. I don't think I can. But, uh, yeah, and I also stumbled upon this website uh, th that says uh, in no state can a minimum wage worker afford a one-bedroom rental unit at a uh, fair market rent. Well, working a standard 40 hour work week without paying more than 30% of their income. <laughs> so basically, in every state, uh, you have to pay more than 30% of your paycheck to rent if you're working a minimum wage job. And some states have higher minimum wage than uh, the federal minimum wage. Idaho does not, which sucks. 
I get paid slightly more than federal minimum wage, which is seven twenty five an hour and I get eight twenty eight dollars an hour. So it says in my state of Idaho a person has to work fifty nine hours a week to afford a one bedroom rental at thirty percent of their income, which I'm pretty sure I've done that before. During Powerball, I'm, I'm certain I did the, the billion dollar Powerball. That's when I worked probably 60 hours a week, but I don't want to do that every week. And just to get political for a minute, the federal minimum wage should definitely be raised, probably even doubled. Uh, Because it's 2016. And everything else has gone up in cost. And one of the arguments I hear the most against raising the minimum wage is that people will... People will get fired for... Because the business can't afford to pay them anymore. But if they were paid more, they might stay at their job uh, and not go to another job that pays more. And that then the, that argument just doesn't work because every time the Federal minimum wage has been raised. Uh, there's been little effect on job hiring. So, the United States needs to uh, uh, enter the 21st century uh, about economics so that people like me can move out of their parents' house and not have to work 60 hours a week. But, and, all right. (coughs) And, all right, politics over. Um, Or economics. (laughs) But I have found on Craigslist, um, uh, just like rooms for rent in people's houses that are like uh, 200 something dollars a month or 300 which would be a lot more affordable but I kind of want to live on my own but I don't think I can afford it so I might I might have to do that, move move into someone's house. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Just think, just have to think about it. And also, like, call people up and and take tours of the of the place to make sure I'll like it and I'll like whoever else is living there because if if I don't get along well with the person living there then it's not going to work very well which is one of my fears or something I'm anxious about. Another thing is being sure to pay all the bills because right now uh, my parents have been paying all of my bills. Like they'll, they'll either pay them themselves or they'll put money to my account 
and then the money will be automatically withdrawn. But, but yeah, I, I'm not too concerned about that because I can either set up everything to auto pay or just uh, set reminders. Because now that I got a full time job, it's, it's not not really a concern. See, money fixes everything. <laughs> no, not really. Some stuff. That's what I'm trying to do now. But it's a little hard. Uh, not only. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's what I'm trying to do now. After I got a job, the next step is moving out on my own. And I, I've said in another video, I have lived on my own before. Kind of, sort of, because, like I just said, my parents were paying most of my bills. But now I got to cut the cord. I think that's the right saying. Yeah, yeah, do something. <laughs> so, yeah, that's about it. Working on moving out. Uh, so, until next video, uh, goodbye.